So hello, hello everybody. I'd like to introduce you to my second version of the Plexi Bender. For all those who are in France with me, um, you've seen the first version. This is the second version. It's sleeker, slender and smaller and lighter. So I just put it on the table and then I have to uh, take the camera jig I've made and I'll hook it up here and then I've got both hands free so that I can show you how it works. So. Only here. I'd like to show you the second version of my uh, plexi bender here. So I've made a camera jig, you can't see it at the moment, but then I can hook this camera up to my chest and then I've got both hands free at the moment. I've only got one hand. Anyway, for all those who saw the first plexi bender, you can remember it was much higher, it was much bigger. Um, I had smooth wood, or let's say coated wood, uh, which wasn't that adequate actually because the plexi kept slipping away when I was actually folding the flap. So in this case, I've taken raw, what they call papel here in Germany. It's a type of a plywood, a very soft wood, but it's got a, a very, um, well, a rougher surface, let's put it that way. So that the plexi, when I'm bending it, it doesn't slip away. It's much sleeker than it was, um, and it's got a few extra features which I didn't have last time. For instance, I realized in France and at the DCMM in 2014 that, uh, uh, you know, kept banging when it was transporting. Uh, it kept banging onto the, the, the wire ends here and the, the spring end, which was on this side. So I had to renew the spring in France, for instance, which was cumbersome, so I didn't want to do that again. So they're all safeguarded here. The spring doesn't get hot anywhere and the end of the wire has barely any heat so that doesn't matter either. So I'll just um, show you the other side. This time I've got a switch before I have to pull the wire out. So I've got a switch and I've got LED showing me that it's actually on so it's in heating modus. Here I've got a hole so that I can put my finger in here to keep it down and pull it up for the clasp. That's the uh, electricity receptacle. And that's just about it from the outside, so I'll, just a minute, just put the camera down. Okay, open it up. So then we've got, um, this time, the, um, the hinges are sunk in. Um, I've got the magnet uh, plates here, which clasp onto the magnets on this side, over there too. Um, I've got a ruler this time instead of just a piece of wood here, which is just about a couple of millimeters, I think it's two, three millimeters high, but that's enough so that when I take some plexi, I need some plexi that I've got a piece from before, I can put it against it so that I can stick it 90 degrees. And let's just say I want to make an angle. I measure whatever piece I want to make, I put the angle part here, and I want to set that angle. So now I need hands free, so I'll press pause for a, minute, for a second. So I'm back. So now let's say I just measure what, uh, whatever angle I need. In this case, I'll just sit about 45 degrees, just to test anyway. So then I put that here. And I made a jig here, which can be set as well to match that angle. Bring the flap back. Hold the jig on it and screw that piece into place. I'm just doing it very quick at the moment, so I'll have a few millimeters difference to what I actually require. But this is just a test. So, I'm going to put that to the side. Then I need some plexi. Let's see, I've got... Uh, I can take this here. This is a very cheap, brittle plexi, plexi which I can buy here. It's a local hardware store. Um, I wouldn't really recommend it. To tell you the truth, it's shit. <laughs> Uh, excuse my French, but it's good enough for a test now. Right. Check this off. The better the plexi, the thicker it is, the longer you need. Simple. So let's turn it on. Got an LED to show me that it's actually in heating up mortars. Let's make a, a band. This is very cheap, very thin plexi. I think it's only about 30 millimeters. Uh, the better the plexi is, the longer it takes. This is a little bit better, but. Um, uh, that's just a leftover piece. I brought this piece from uh, France. It takes longer. It's uh, should be four millimeters, I think. It takes longer, but it's much better quality. It's not that brittle. 
that's what I like about it, but um, I don't, have, don't have any left. In France with Lee and with uh, Richard, we also bent, I think it was six or seven millimeters, six millimeters it must have been. That worked fine as well, it just took longer. By the way, um, the longer the wire is, the longer the tungsten is, uh, the longer it will take for it to heat up. So I wouldn't recommend buying uh, wire, which is, you know, you want to shove it over two meters or something, that would be stupid. Uh, unless, of course, you have a better transformer. I've got a 10 ampere, 12 volts and 10 ampere um, uh, transformer. And um, just a minute, please. And uh, this works for 60 centimeters here. I wanted to make it longer initially and make it. Um, uh, it's already ready. Just a minute. Turn it off. I was talking too much, and so I overheated it a bit. But it's working, still working. Shouldn't wait that long. The longer the wire is, the more MPs you need. Simple. It's probably got something to do with the uh, resistance. I'm not an electrician, I don't know. But trial and error, and I found out what was wrong. So, this one I seem to have overheated a bit, because it's still soft. Press pause, because it'll take some time to dry. Okay, now let's take it off, put that back. Now we've got a nice, uh, clean, clean bend here, to whatever set of degrees which I put it in. The only things which uh, at the moment are suboptimal are, of course, here, this corner and this corner. But, like I said, I was talking too much and not uh, paying attention to how long it's been in there. So let's make another bend. Um, what I can do now with this one, I've got about 25 centimeters here. I can even make a second bend in a different direction. Couldn't do that before. Like this. Not with this piece of pexy, of course, but... Uh, I can bend this way and the other way. Didn't have that before. So, I'll make another bend here. Just to show you. This time, I won't be such a chatterbox. Like I said, this is cheap plexi. If I would take something like this, with... with um, with which I made the covers for the wire and for the spring over there then it takes a little bit longer and the corners are very neat as well that's good isn't it? a little bit further more it's only a test anyway as soon as you start I mean um, as it starts heating up especially with this thin three millimeter plexi then just start you know moving it and seeing whether it starts giving and as soon as it starts to give, then I will turn it off over there and start bending it. Yeah, it's, it's getting a little bit floppy now. Yep, I think I can turn it off. Make a bend. As you can see, it naturally bends back. All plexis do. The thicker it is, of course, it will be even, even easier for it to try to flip back. So if you need 90 degrees, take 91. If you need 45, take 46, and so so forth. Because it always bends back about a millimeter. But there we've got a better. That's a much better corner now. And as you can see, I've got a very clean bend. That worked out very, very nice. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but that was only a test anyway, just to show how it works. So, when you're finished, at the end of the day, all you have to do is screw this back down, shove it in there, fix it, turn it off anyway, take out the wire, flip the flat back, 
and then you are actually ready to go. It's transportable. Only weighs about seven kilos, maybe eight kilos. Not even that. Okay, hope you like it and uh, I'm curious how you're going to build it. Bye-bye.